Hello, Trade Pros. I hope everyone is doing well. Hello, YouTube. And in today's video, we've got a special trading strategy it has great momentum through all time highs. And we're going to explain exactly why with a few examples in today's video. So if you guys are excited about this, drop a like, smash that subscribe button, ring that little bell to notify you when we do go live and drop a comment down below. What are some of your favorite stocks to trade? So let's go ahead, get ready for this intro, and we will jump right into this video. As I mentioned in this video, we are going to be talking about all time highs and stocks, how to trade these. These are typically seen as either high opportunity trades and potential moves, or conversely, they could be considered a little more risky. So I'm going to show you guys why we like these moves and we like to consider these moves as high potential trading opportunities. So first, we need to understand what happens at an all time high, why all time highs get broken like this and why stocks find momentum pushes like this. So when we look at a stock and is trading near an all time high, what we have to understand is the momentum shift, right? The dynamic shift in momentum when an asset, specifically a stock reaches an area that has not been traded ever before. So the new high prints a signal that's very favorable in a circumstance that there's no oversupply in the form of shareholders who either need to sell for a loss or sell to break even, right? In an all time high, right? There's no oversupply in the market, right? This is uncharted territory, meaning that there's no panic selling really coming around. There's demand and euphoria because we're in an area where no shareholder is at a loss, right? No matter from where you hold the shares, you are at a win in this area. So this happens when a key resistance point on an asset is broken. And when this break actually does happen, there is a few potential moves that will come to be. Now, the first break of an all-time high level typically shows up with a strong push to the upside, right? a strong momentum shift. So there's a few rules and steps to follow when we're looking at these and these all-time high breaks. Naturally, you can scan for these on Finviz, seeing what stocks are near all-time highs or 52-week highs and trade those as is. Now, when we're looking for an all-time high move, we're looking for a breakout trade, meaning that when that resistance of an all-time high is broken with higher than normal, higher than average volume, we are entering a strong action phase, right? Where the momentum starts to break through the upside and you accumulate these buyers that are starting to press higher. Now, at a certain point, once this all-time high breaks, we do get that capitulation move where we see those late longs who are starting to buy at the tops after this thing has broken out 10, 15, 20%. And those late longs, once they start buying at these more extended areas, become the weak hand longs, right? The weak hand shakeout is a very, very well-known aspect in trading all-time highs, right? Because the euphoria settles in, whether it's a 52-week high or an all-time high, and all of a sudden profit taking comes in and those weak longs get flushed out where we get a turnaround back in price to a support zone right so if we take a look at nvidia nvidia over the past few months here even from august 2020 we got some nice all-time high breaks this was a prior all-time high to around 431 when you get that break move right you get a certain position that rallies and then you get that weekend shakeout same thing once you break this new high 460 you get that nice rally and then eventually you get the weak hand shakeout from people that bought back above these tops get flushed out, right? The same thing will happen at this all-time high break. The all-time high break through this area, this is the level at which you're expecting this move to open up and you finally get that break. And for a short period of time, you will feel euphoria as there is more money coming into that upside swing, right? And it could continue for a few more days. It could continue for a few more weeks, but at a certain point, it will capitulate and we'll see that turnaround. So how to trade these all-time high breakouts, right? What to notice at the all-time high breakouts. Now, the best way to trade the all-time high breakout is to notice what kind of pattern may form around this all-time high, right? If you're at an all-time high and you're forming a bull flag, for example, on a stock, then you have that more anticipated momentum because it's coiling sideways, right? It's coiling sideways for that potential move. As we've seen here, 
in NVIDIA, right? In NVIDIA, you can see prior to this move, you had a coil of a bull flag that was shaping up after this extended move. Once that area is broken, that's when that all-time high push starts. So it's either you get a formation of a pattern at this all-time high that convinces you of this break, or you can just identify where the all-time high was prior and look for a move through it, right? In this case, the all-time high was indicated by large shifts of rejection at those areas. So here with NVIDIA, what we're looking for is just the break of the all-time highs. If we see what the all-time high is here, 58907, through that area, you're going to get that continued move. And that's where we start this movement to the upside. So I like to look at this on either a weekly or a daily chart. The weekly gives you more of a understanding of where these all-time high breaks are very, very clearly. On the weekly chart, whatever stock you're looking at, if you're looking at an all-time high break, you are looking to start buying through that all-time high by a few cents to see that continued move to the upside, right? And trying to trail it along. Now, naturally, since this is uncharted territory, our good friend here, the FIB tool, if we grab an extension from a low to a high to a higher low somewhere here, we can map where the targets would be, right? Starting from the 76%, I really like to look at that 100% mark. So in this case, it will be $643.82 a share around that area, not exactly that, that level, but around that area, you will anticipate to see some kind of Relation. Now, you have to notice, is the all-time high break on big volume? Is it on bigger than average volume? And is that volume going to be sustained? Otherwise, you risk seeing the pullback. And when you enter this position, you want to keep a risk maybe a few percentage points right below that all-time high just in case it pulls back down and then just completely rejects and fakes out that all-time high. So, in this sense, you could have a multiple bag winner. And the key is catching this all-time high right at the actual breakout to see if it can continue. And these FIB extension levels, they are indeed good areas to justify holding or continuing the up upside momentum. So for example, if we close above 60602 on this day and on this week, we could have another leg back up to that 100% area. So another example of this would be PayPal. Why don't we look at PayPal on the one week? On the one week, PayPal has broken through all-time highs numerous times. We can grab an area that was an all-time high right here. We can grab an area that was an all-time high here, here, wherever it was, right? And the idea is if an all-time high is just getting tested time and time again and not really pulling back, then you want to give it some leeway to actually pull back before trying to capture that break. So when you break an all-time high like this on PayPal, for example, this most recent area, it is driven by earnings, right? It is driven by an earnings report. The next day we get that pop and we'll see that continuation. So again, we'll grab our trusty extension tool here, grab a low that we've seen recently, grab a high and this most high or low. And you can see on PayPal, we are indeed starting to tag that 100% mark, right? We came a few dollars shy of the 100% mark today alone. So this is where you could see that turnaround and pull back down in this name. So in this scenario, you want to notice how the patterns and how the rotations work at this area, right? So if you get an all-time high like this and rejects even better, when that all-time high had been rejected, before and price is coming back into it, at that point, it becomes a lot of a more anticipated momentum shift to the upside. Let's take Twitter, for example, as well. Twitter had an all-time high as well right here that we were navigating for quite some time. And you can see what this is. This all-time high test at this area is perfect because it was the start of a formation of a bull flag like this, right? The fact that it failed, that's okay, because when you come back into that area and you break that all-time high, there is a pretty high potential. Yes, this was a little earnings driven for that continued move back to the upside. So no matter what you take as an all-time high, all-time high break, you're looking for how that area had been tested and if it's been rejected before. There's been a lot of all-time high breaks in the market in recent weeks here. So if we look at Microsoft as well on the weekly, this is a great place to start on the weekly chart. Notice, is a prior all-time high rejected aggressively? Okay, if it is, let's see how price comes back into that area. You can see higher lows, big volume on the breakout, right? If we look at a daily chart here, 
you get that slight little push, little breakout indication. What you're doing right now is just putting your stop a few percentage points below to see if you can get that continued move to the upside. Now, when you get that continued move to the upside, you'll see that the price actually starts stalling out. This is where the weak hands come in and the longs start getting very late. And at that point, you'll see a reversal, which could come back down into the all-time high, the prior all-time high and try to hold that as support. These longs that got long through the breakout want to see this area defended, and should it break back below, this trade is done and we'll look for another continued move to the upside. But careful trying to buy a move that has surpassed the all-time high by 5-10% because that could be an area where we look for the weekend shakeouts to actually come into this market and turn this thing around. So to reiterate, Again, we can go to Finviz, for example. We can go to our screener here, and we can look at stocks that are near a 52-week high or low, for example. Ideally, it would be at all-time highs somewhere, right? So if we are 5 0 to 3% below a 52-week high, we can see right here there is a lot of different names. So why don't we just bump up the market cap here so we can find some. Let's just go large. So there's still 180 names. Why don't we go mega and we got 12 names. So let's take a look at some of these charts and you can see ABT, right? It's pretty close to an all time high right here. Berkshire Hathaway as well. Comcast just broke one so we can see an anticipated move. Gogo or sorry, Google. Google and Disney look very interesting. So Google, why don't we take a look at Google? Google, what you're seeing is an earnings break to the upside. Let's look at a weekly chart. You're seeing the earnings break to the upside, but what you'll also notice is that we had this long consolidation period here on Google, right? To be expected after breaking an all-time high, right? Didn't go very far. We got the consolidation period. We just broke a new all-time high pretty aggressively. And why don't we grab our friend, the Fib tool here, grab an extended move like that and see, okay, well, we've pretty much tapped that 100% marker here on Google to the upside for that capitulation, right? We could see a turnaround to shake out the weak hands, but what you'll also notice is that there's another bull flag shaping up here, meaning that this is another consolidative period. Should we break through this, we could have a lot more room to the upside, but it seems like after this high break, we're going to get more of a weak hand shakeout to the downside. So it's really good to trade these all-time high breaks because of the momentum that comes into the market right through those all-time highs it gets very euphoric and the longs get really attracted to that upside swing so again watch out for the capitulative move that happens with the weak hands getting in at that late long and that turnaround so remember all-time highs are great for breakout traders because again there's no oversupply and there's no scrambling for people to cover their losses or cover at break even at this point no matter where you're long from you're gaining traction, you're making gains. So there's euphoria for the first stint of that all-time high before we get a shakeout. So if you guys enjoyed this strategy to trade all-time highs and what to look for, how to analyze these, drop a like down below, hit us with a comment, and we'll see you guys next time. But before that, George has a few words for you guys and take care, everyone. We'll see you in our next YouTube video. Hello, and thank you for watching this video. I wanna take a moment to invite you to an exclusive online trading masterclass. In this event, you're gonna learn three key things to help take your trading to the next level. Number one, we're gonna teach you a complete price action strategy used by professional traders on a daily basis. Plus, give you the checklist so you know how to check off each step to qualify the opportunities. Number two, we're gonna teach you how to use advanced order flow analytics to help you qualify high probability, low risk trade setups on a daily basis. Plus, we're gonna teach you how to use that order flow to disqualify the trades that you're used to taking that end up being stopped out. Number three, we're gonna show you how you can apply all of this information with a small account because you can start small and scale up. In fact, that's the only way to start and a lot of our traders are doing it in our community on a daily basis. This is an exclusive offer you can get online only at this event. I look forward to seeing you at this masterclass and teaching you these three secrets of highly profitable day trading. Take care and have a great day.